hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels and today we're going to be talking about yet another series of lesser known and unknown travel destinations so let's jump right into it first I'm going to tell you about lesser known travel destinations and then I'm going to go into the unknown travel destinations so let's get started now apodo co dot uk apodo co dot uk says the do hans go at national park in china has a lake bluer than blue and it goes for for 1375 meters and the waters are crystal blue turquoise lake beautiful lake um that um basically deserved the attention that um, the UNESCO uh, turned it into a place into basically a world heritage site in 1992 um, but again not many people again know that and again it's a very beautiful quiet area to visit in China um, again it's um, the type of place that you'd like to go to um, that you want to get out of a large town or city and just see some beautiful scenery um, of a national park excuse me I've got a cold And um, again, China is a destination um, basically is a country uh, where you would like to visit if you like hot weather. Obviously, if you like cooler weather, then China's not going to be the country for you to go and visit. Um, but um, if you carry on watching, then I have got some cooler countries on the list. So, again, please keep watching. Um, again, another unknown destination is Hawaii High Ku Stairs in Owa. And it's basically duped as the stairway to heaven have you heard of this phrase um basically it's um has a variety of songs um romantic songs um listed um Like, like it basically and it's literally duped as a stairway to heaven and uh, the phrase fairly describes uh, these stairs in Ohio, Hawaii um, excuse my pronunciation um, they are majestic stairs um, that have a top secret purpose when they were built in 1942 they were constructed by the Hiku radio station to be able to transit or transmit radio signals to Navy ships um, across the Pacific and there's 3,922 steps so that's a lot of steps to climb but can you imagine what the views will uh, would be like at the top of the stairs 
and uh, can you also um, imagine what it would be like to climb those stairs again um, if you're again a reasonably fit person and uh, you like you don't mind climbing stairs to or climbing and uh, don't have a phobia of heights um, then again it would be a great place um, for you to go and visit also um, want to take time out of a popular town or a city that's just very busy and um, then again it's a perfect place to go and visit and you can see the beauty around there um, also um, Hawaii again is a hot destination so if you're into cooler destinations then again um, it still wouldn't be the right place for you to go and visit um, unless you're again wanting to experience a hot de uh, destination um, or just generally like hot destinations now another hot destination um, is the Philippines um, Resort uh, Surgical del Sur, Sur at Hornayton River excuse my pronunciation again um, is an, an enchanting river in the Philippines that um, it that the country the Philippines is slowly showcasing its beauty uh, one island after one uh, this is a country that offers more than what you can see on Google and um, the river is basically tucked behind the rocky mountains of a small province called Surgical Desert lies a fairy tale like river that uh, you will surely make you think twice um, if it is a real river or not it's duped as the enchanted river and invites people from all around the world to dive and explore it in depth and the caves so if you like exploring and diving and swimming in the, uh, the caves then again this can be um, an excellent destination for yourself that's um, basically not crowded um, and again basically unknown another unknown uh, destination is Poland's Crooked Forest in sin again uh, excuse my pronunciation um, it's a bizarre wide array of crooked trees that uh, can be found near a the town of Garai Fino which is in West Poland again it's ideal um, in the, the winter or outer season um, for people that um, are not looking to go on a, a hot vacation but in the winter looking to go on a lot cooler vacation um, in the summer it's Poland is supposed to be like warm but not really hot such as anywhere like India or Kenya, um, Egypt, the Sahara Desert, not any or the southern states of America such as Texas, um, Nevada for instance it's not um, as hot or even as humid, uh, humid as those places um, but um, in the summer it is warm but 
or it can get probably quite hot but not very hot um, it's more of what I would say a comfortable um, temperature wise in the summer um, what I can imagine um, even though I've not been to Poland I would love to go and um, I would actually love to go and see uh, the Crooked Forest and other destinations um, in Poland um, explore but um, I hope to do it um, in the future sometime uh, but I'm busy this year recording the UK um, but again um, if you say book uh, your accommodation in the town of Gryfino, um then the crooked trees in the, the cro uh, in the forest are not far from there so you could perhaps go on a day out to the crooked forest Um, the, the last unknown destination on the list is Japan's Ibaraki Hatachi Seaside Park. It's just less than two hours away from the capital of Tokyo, which is a busy city, and it lies a seaside park um, located in the northeast of Tokyo within the Kunto Plain. Um, vast hake of a variety of flowers um, in every palette um, it's definitely um, a great place to visit for people that like flowers such as and paradise like flower enthusiasts and um, just a, a basically to say get out of Tokyo and just explore an unknown seaside park um, in Japan or just someone that wants to explore um, a pretty environment. Now according to earth.com Dot com. These are, they're not unknown, but they're less well known they're, than well known travel destinations. Another one is Lake Natron. It is a red and pink lake um, because of the salt feeding orgasms that call this unique location home and um, again Tanzania is a very hot country all, all year round and it's on the equator so um, again it's for people that like hot destinations um, it's not for people that like warm or cool destinations also um, a destination um, for people obviously uh, Lake Natron is people experience the unknown and uh, well the less known beauty um, of the red and pink lake and just basically uh, want to see and look at something different uh, like all the destinations um, that I've listed here um, another um, lesser known destination is Montreal Botanic Garden in Canada now Canada again is not as hot as what, it, or what America is and um, it's not a hot resort like a hot country like Tanzania and other 
other countries around the equator and the Sarara Desert and places like India um, and it's say the southern states of America like Nevada, Texas, Los Angeles um, again um, but it's a destination um, for people that obviously love a cooler environment and that love nature, wildlife and outdoors and um, again uh, to explore this lesser known beautiful bo uh, botanic gar uh, garden basically so thank you for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next uh, travel video which is uh, going to be on Sunday and it's going to be another celebrity special please keep watching for more exciting videos uh, in the future um, and um, I love all you subscribers thank you for watching you all mean the world to me um, you're all amazing fantastic so please keep watching and i'll see you on sunday thank you bye for now